Hey, how's it going everybody? Tim here, the frugal travel guru, back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to once again be talking about the Megabus. And I'm going to be answering the question, are the reserve seats on the Megabus really worth the extra money? Is it worth the extra money you have to pay to reserve a seat when you're riding on the Megabus? So in case you don't know, Unlike other bus companies, the Megabus allows you to reserve certain seats on the bus. You can't reserve just any seat, but there are certain seats like the ones by the tables on the lower deck, uh, I believe the ones by the stairs on the uh, upper and lower deck maybe, and then also the one that a lot of people really like on the upper deck is the seats all the way near the front where the big open window is so you can kind of see out as you're going without any obstruction. So you are allowed to reserve those seats when you get online and buy your ticket, but it's extra. I think it's $1 for the seats by the table, $2 by the, for the stairwell seats, and then like $5 for the upper deck window seats. So some people want to know, is it worth it? Should I pay this extra money to reserve these seats? Especially when a lot of people, uh, you know, know how to play the game. I've uh, made videos about this. Um, they know how to play the game. They know how to get really cheap Megabus tickets. You can get Megabus tickets starting at a dollar. That's not just a marketing ploy. I see it all the time. Uh, definitely $5, $10 seats every day of the week on the Megabus. So you can go pretty far on Megabus with just like 10 bucks. So, you know, you might be like, hey, if I only paid five bucks for my ticket, should I pay another two just to reserve a seat? So this is my opinion, my answer to that question. I know for a fact that other people have different opinion. Me personally, um, I think it is worth the money if you have a good reason. Uh, maybe you want to sit by the stairwell because it makes gives you easier access to the stairs. And for some reason, you want easier access to the stairs. Uh, maybe you want to sit by the table because you want to play cards or you know read a book or you know maybe you and three other friends want to reserve all the uh, seats around the table so y'all can yeah play a board game or something like that if you have a good reason go ahead and reserve it uh, me personally I love the seats on the upper deck where I can look out the window there's no one in front of me um, you know I like to make videos so I can reserve that seat put my camera right there uh, I know it's not a problem uh, you know and here's the thing if you reserve a seat then you are guaranteed to get that seat I have seen people be in people's seats and they just went and got the bus driver. Hey, I reserved the seat, he's right here on my ticket. They made the person move. So if you really want a certain seat and uh, even if someone else is already sitting there, you will get that seat. And so if you have a good reason, I totally think it's worth it. And come on people, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, even if you've already got a super cheap ticket, what's five dollars on top of it? for you to have the peace of mind of knowing, okay, this is where I'm going to be sitting. It's also very helpful if you are traveling with someone else and you want to reserve seats so y'all can sit by each other. Anybody who's rode the Greyhound bus um, or any other bus line where there's no way to, uh, you know, determine where you're going to be sitting knows the hassle of, you know, your friend being on the same bus with you and then being, you know, five rows in front of you and they've got all the snacks <laughs> and so you got to get up and go up there and bother them and you know or if you're traveling with your mate or you know with kids or something like that it's just a lot easier the peace of mind is worth the extra dollar the extra two dollars whatever just so you know i'm going to be sitting here and my girlfriend's going to be sitting there uh you know it's just we can't always be cheap so in my opinion it's totally worth it if you want to reserve a seat pay the extra money. If you don't, well, don't reserve one. Just, you know, get your little cheap ticket and seat, sit where you may. Uh, some people say don't reserve a seat because you can usually, uh, you know, get on the bus and find those seats open anyway. I, I haven't found that true. I guess it might depend on how busy Megabus is in your area. Whenever in the Megabus, they've been pretty packed. And, you know, the people, uh, the reserve seats, like I said, came into effect because there was already people in those seats. So there was no way if you didn't have reserve seats, you could have got those kind of coveted seats. Um, I just want to say this is not a video where Megabus is paying me to say pay extra money for tickets or anything like that. It's just my opinion. I think for peace of mind, if you have a good reason, go ahead, spend an extra few dollars, get your reserve seat. I think it's a great option. I wish other bus companies like Greyhound would start reserving seats just so I could decide where I want to sit uh, and not just be thrown anywhere on the bus next to just anybody. 
Anyway, I'm Tim, the Frugal Travel Guru. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more Megabus, Greyhound, uh, all kinds of frugal travel videos. Um, and if you have any questions about riding the Megabus, please put them in the comment box below and check out the links I have in the description box. Um, they can take you to my Facebook page, my blog, you know, all that type of stuff where you can get even more answers to your frugal travel questions. I'm Tim. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.